Hello viewers, a channel by the name of Mikhail Hizal just uploaded an amazing video. In case you're wondering who this is, he's the 2019 Gran Turismo World Champion. And for me, he's the most naturally gifted Gran Turismo player in recent times. The video is called Can We Keep Up The Pace With A World Champion And A World Tour Driver? And this is a fairly rare occasion where two world champions will meet in an online lobby together. I asked Mikhail if he could share the replay with me. And very kindly, he did exactly that, as we can see here. The description is quite simply, that's how racing should be. Let's take a look. In second place on the grid, we have Mikhail Hizal, as we say, the 2019 Gran Turismo World Champion. He's driving the Jaguar Group 3 car. In third position on the grid, we have the Italian Valerio Gallo, the 2021 Gran Turismo World Champion. He is driving the Hyundai Group 3 car. Now on pole position, we have the Greek player Consta. He has not been a world champion, but has been a Gran Turismo World finalist. He is driving the Corvette. As he kindly shared the replay with me, Hazal did have one request, and that was to link the top three players in this race in the description, so please do check them out. But without further ado, let's jump into this race. Okay, let's kick things off from the perspective of the 2019. Gran Turismo World Champion, Mikhail Hizal, second place on the grid in the Jaguar, with the beautiful Lister livery up behind Consta on pole position. Do not discount this guy just because he's not a world champion. He's absolutely one of the fastest players in the world. A world finalist, so should not be discounted very, very quick indeed. And of course, on pole position, up against two world champions in the same lobby. And then in third place, Valerio Gallo, the 2021 champion. All three looking to make a fast start here. For context, the strategy of this race, of course, 30 laps around Interlagos. He had to use the soft tyre and the hard tyre during the course of the race. Pretty much everyone opted to do one lap on hards and then two separate stints on the soft tyre. So there was variation here and you will see that play out during the course of this race. As you can probably tell on this opening lap, the top three driving incredibly smoothly, not much in the way of mistakes and incredibly consistent as well. These guys are really the best players on this game. You'd struggle to beat them, let alone keep up with them in any race that you were in. But it's really good to see this caliber of player regularly logging on to uh, give it a go in sport mode this was the exhibition round of the current manufacturers cup this was the first round so the first uh, lap pretty much done there the top three all in a, in a line easily pulling away from the uh, top uh, sorry for the rest of the pack who quite a few of them have actually jumped into the pit lane at the end of that one uh, to get rid of the hard tire as i say only wanted to do one lap so uh, gallo just Keeping nice and close behind. None of them really looking to do any moves just yet. Those would come later as um, the uh, tyres began to wear out. So you can see all of them just really driving exactly to the limits. They know exactly how to drive these cars around this track. We're going to skip forward to the end of lap seven. This is where we have a bit more uh, drama. But look at the lap times here, guys. Between all three of them, just incredible consistency in the low 130s, mostly 130.3s. But the consistency is absolutely incredible between the three of them. Not much in the way of mistakes. They really are just driving so robotically. It's almost not real. I could aspire to one day be on this level. But that would not be easy at all. This is lap 12. We're getting towards the end of this first stint. The first stint has pretty much run how the first couple of laps went and until this moment here as you can see gallo just running slightly wide getting the first penalty of the race as you can see 0.5 second penalty running wide out of the center s by now the tires beginning to wear out this is consta in the lead that front right especially both right hand tires to be honest around into lagos an anti-clockwise circuit really does punish the right hand tires Coming in towards the final corner at the end of this lap. He's just going to make a bit of a mistake there. And that doesn't look like a mistake. But in this calibre of lobby, that is a mistake. That's a big mistake because any small advantage you lose, you know, your rivals are going to get past you. So Gallo served his penalty. He's going to drop back slightly. But it's going to be an incredible battle now. Consta covers the inside. Hizal to the outside. Can he get this move done into the centre S? 
They're going to run through here side by side. Look at the respect being shown between the two of them. Giving each other space right on the edge of the track limit. And here again, Consta not running his Isle out beyond the curb. Giving him the room as they now hurtle down towards turn four. Lap 13, really good battling between the two of them. Plenty of respect. And eventually Consta slots back in. Although his Isle coming back for the, the undercut here on the way out. Once again, Constant is going to have the inside line. Just coming under a bit of pressure now. And it's certainly not easy. This position that Constant, in, Constant is in, in the lead of the race, with two world champions immediately behind you, doing incredibly well to soak up the pressure. But this fighting is getting Gallo back into the picture, as he's going to be licking his lips looking at this, thinking, where can I seize my opportunity? As these two guys are battling and driving side by side in consecutive corners definitely going to slow you down he's going to look around the outside of turn 11 really brave move Hazal gives him the room doesn't run him wide and all three slot back into single file to continue their run up the hill all three pretty much getting a bit of a moment of oversteer on the exit of the corner just shows you that the tyres really are beginning to wear out now on to lap 14 we go crossing the line they are pretty much pushing each other up the straight here Gallo looking for the move Consta goes defensive, as does Hizal. Hizal back to the outside. Can Gallo force a move here? He switches underneath, driving around the outside of Hizal. Is he going to be able to get this done? Yes, he is. Gets the move done. Brilliant stuff from Valerio Gallo there. Up into second place. Hizal not really making a mistake there, but just um, couldn't get the position he wanted, the positioning. Gallo took full advantage and just shows you in this kind of race, any small mistake or even half a mistake or even 10% of a mistake and you're going to lose a position. These guys are absolutely ruthless and to race against this level of player is, is so, so difficult. You have to really be on it the entire race. 30 laps here. It's going to be about a 45-minute race and these guys are just not making any mistakes. Hardly any at all. But here's going to be one. You see Gallo there sees the opportunity and just goes beyond track limits a little bit and gets himself his second 0.5 second penalty so his own now looking for the opportunity doesn't quite present itself through turn 11 how about through 12 he's gonna have to serve that penalty but he's not gonna do it just yet given that he only just got the penalty he's gonna have to wait one more lap to serve that that could actually work in his favor all of them are now going to jump into the pit lane you can see their soft tires are now beginning to really wear right down and so they're all going to change over however this is where the strategy changes quite a lot and we're going to go down some different paths now as we have Hazal in the middle Concer on the left and Gallo on the right now it all look, kind of looks the same there however it was actually the um 2019 champion Mikhail Hizar going onto the hard tyre and uh, Consta and Gallo remaining on the soft so this is where there's going to be differentiation in the strategy Hizar is going to struggle on these tyres but he's only going to stay out for one lap Gallo now firmly in second place with this penalty Consta still managing the lead managing this race incredibly well it is really difficult to be in the lead drive consistently under pressure and uh, just not really crack under that pressure he's doing a very good job of being consistent so now his all is just going to slightly drop back on this lap that's to be expected given that he's on the worst tire he only has to do one lap on this tire and then he'll swap back onto the softs at the end of this lap he's now come under pressure from l burton the british player goes underneath and moves up into third place he tries to fight it back through 11 but Burton in the Mazda there takes third place it's a quite interesting development there Gallo now going to serve his penalty and he's going to drop slightly back Consta is going to open up a good second second and a half here just to give himself some breathing room and to not give Gallo any slipstream for the next couple of laps so they stay out and his is going to come back in as i say you only want to do one lap on that hard tire he's going to go back out on softs and he has now the added issue of being right behind burton for this stint this is probably not what he wanted 
this is not part of his plan. He would rather would have had clear air. He's going to try to get past this guy as quickly as possible. But in this top split lobby, everyone's good. Everyone's fast. He's just going to have a small mistake there. Through the center S. That's about as big a mistake as you'll see from Rick Harvizar. Just a small slide, losing him maybe a tenth or two. And they're through here. Just backing off the throttle. The car just kind of wobbled mid mid corner through the apex just had to back out the power to make sure he didn't go beyond the curb and just losing a little bit more time there to, uh, to Burton it's not the worst problem in the world as long as he's not being slowed down then it's not too bad however this is lap 24 he is definitely closing back up took him a couple of laps but it looked like he was just kind of biding his time just making sure that he didn't wear his tyres out uh, too much he's coming up the hill through six and seven very much on the back of Burton now looking for this overtake and at this point you're really going to be feeling the effects of the dirt yet Burton there with a half mistake is the space going to afford itself on the way out into this next one not quite I think in this level of lobby you're not really going to be able to force these dive bombs you're going to kind of have to wait for the big opportunity into turn one with the slipstream because no one in this lobby, as I say, no one is slow. So it's really hard to really force the issue. You've got exactly the same tyres. On the exit there, a bit of a slide, but into the slipstream now. He's definitely going to have a chance into turn one. For reference, uh, Consta and Gallo, lapping maybe 20 seconds in front, courtesy of not having done their second pit stop yet. But Burton goes defensive. This is not good for his Isles race. There's possible time loss here especially given he's still in a battle with Consta and Gallo at the front. He's going to have to engineer some sort of move very quickly. The Burton definitely slowing him down at this point. Burton's doing really well to mix it up here at the front. Right here, down towards turn four, Burton going to go narrow to protect the position, but actually overcooks it on the brakes. Casal engineers a beautiful switch back, gets the move done, back up into third, and now he can get on his way we're trying to hunt down the top two. Once again, consistent lap times, high 29s or low 30s. As uh, we look back to Gallo, still in second place, really close behind Consta, who has really laid down authority on this race. He's started the race in the lead. He's not relinquished the lead. And he's really just said, you know what? I'm in the lead. I'm going to stay here. I'm not letting anyone else win this race. He's done such a good job so far. But this is going to be a really good opportunity now for Gallo. This is about as close as he's been in this second stint. Coming up the main straight. Is he going to go defensive and stay to the left-hand side? Yes, he is. That's going to force Gallo over to the right. He's going to go for a bit of a bump draft. And that was actually a bit of communication there. Quite subtle. But Gallo stayed behind, gave him the bump draft. And that's kind of saying, look, we could fight this out. But let's work together. We know that we need to beat Hazal still. We're on a different strategy. Let's uh, play this one nice and sensible. On the following lap, let's see what happens. Actually, Gallo not quite close enough to really go for this overtake anyway. So Consta just taking the normal racing line. So these two guys really working together at this point. Being very, very smart and tactical. Minimizing the time loss in the race. Same again for the end of lap 27. The lap times are beginning to slow down slightly given the tire wear. But there's not many laps left in this race. Only three more. There's a yellow flag here. As Gallo looks for the inside, looks for the move, there's a McLaren off on the left-hand side, as you can see. It's not going to affect their race for the time being. Consta keeps the lead, although that was a very good opportunity for Gallo. And we are nearing the very end of the race now. Consta, once again, goes to the left-hand side, looks a bit defensive here, as he has to be at the end of the race. This is the business end of the race now. And so he can't afford to be nice anymore. Not that he was being nice, he was just being very, very quick. But obviously, the overtake opportunity is going to come at some point soon. And presumably, Gallo or Hazal at the end are going to go for it. And so back with Hazal, still lapping very consistently, very smoothly, which is his trademark. Hazal is the smoothest player I have ever seen on Gran Turismo. And now, this is the business end of this race. End of lap 29, we only have just over one more lap to go gallo and consta out front here they are they are about to pit and change from the soft tire over to the hard now this is where 
Gallo makes his final error or his biggest error to date. A three second penalty for crossing the pit entry line on the left hand side. It was such an innocuous and silly mistake to make. But when he leaves the pit lane, you'll see that he'll get a three second penalty for that. So back on board with Hazal on the right hand side. Now on the full screen. This is the angle we want to see because as he comes through the center S here, take a look forward. That is Consta and that is Gallo directly in front. There is also a back marker, but they will not factor in because ghosting is turned on for back markers. There is confirmation of the three second penalty. Absolute disaster for Gallo at the last moment. He's driven such a good race to stay in the race. Started third, now second. He's going to make a mistake through turn five. Drift wide and hand his all second place. He's got to serve his three second penalty as well. So absolutely disastrous for him. But this is the battle we are now going to turn our attention to. It's Mikhail Hizal versus Consta. So Consta with the hard tyre, as you can see on the left-hand side. Hizal with the soft tyre, very worn, but still quicker than the hards. So he still has every chance to win this race, does Mikhail from second place. Consta struggling for traction there on the exit of 10. Through 11 they go. Is he going to cover the left-hand side? Yes, he is. This is going to be a drag race to the line. Hazal looks around the outside. Is it going to work for him there? Not quite. Bit of a bump. It's going to be a drag race now to the finish between the Corvette and the Jaguar. Incredibly close battle. Let's see how this one finishes. As they come up to the line, Slipstream in effect. Monster keeps the inside line for a slighter and smaller run to the finish and just keeps it by less than half of a tenth of a second. Gallo eventually finishing down in sixth place after serving the penalty. But what an incredible battle between these three amazing players. We can see it again here as we come up to the finish with the two of them. Just how close this is. If we go to the side angle, you can see less than... Well, I mean, what even is that? That's such a small amount of time to lose a race by or to win a race by. Consta with a fantastic race execution there, must be said. And to be honest, all of them drove amazingly. And that is such a fantastic picture to really sum up that race, just how close that was in every respect. And as Mikhail said on the description, that's how racing should be. I absolutely agree with him. That was an amazing race. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.